From being afraid to draw with pen to marching up to strangers and asking to draw their pen portrait by the end of this video, here is how it happened. Before I started this drawing challenge with pen, I really, really wasn't drawing much and I, I, I just wasn't really inspired. And then I remembered something I really wanted to do for a while, but was really scared to do, was to try drawing portraits with pen. And I, in several videos actually, in several of my previous videos, I actually mentioned this, how I really, really wanted to try drawing portraits with pen. However, just the whole idea, it's very scary. It's very scary because you you just can't erase and, the drawing is what it wants to be. You can't really, it's a little less, I find, in your control. At least at least it felt like that way to me uh, back then. These first five portraits that you see me drawing here are from when I started drawing pen portraits for the first time. I have a previous video on these that go more in depth. And if you would like to check that out, I'll leave a link for you in the description below. In this video though, we are going all out and are expanding on this challenge by walking up to strangers in the streets and asking to draw them. When I started this challenge, I was like, you know what, Dadar, what if you just, you just try one face, just like have fun with it, you know? And instead of fixating on the end result, the goal was just to, why not start, start drawing with pen and just see where it goes? And that's exactly what I did. And the change was crazy. I ended up really wanting to open my sketchbook every morning. Just the first thing I did was draw something because there was this desire to create, this desire to just see where it goes. Cause where could it go? Where could it go, right? That's exciting. Are you the type of artist that can't let go of their eraser? You keep on redrawing your strokes to the point where it eventually really slows down your drawing process. You feel self-conscious with everything you create. I totally understand where you're coming from because I was that artist very, very recently. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've only started taking my art seriously for about a year, as long as I've had this YouTube channel, right? Adapting this mentality really, really helped me stay organized and stay consistent with drawing, even though it's not perfect, because it never is. Just simply show up. That's when you start really improving. Now, let me tell you a bit about the challenge itself. My personal goals for taking on this challenge was to get more accurate in my portrait drawing. I'm showing you all my reference photos and the faces that I drew side by side, so you also can see how over time I get more accurate. And another goal was to also essentially draw better faster. I'm timing myself for every portrait I draw and in an attempt to get at least under 30 minutes, a portrait at least under 30 minutes. Something I really learned over this first part of the challenge was how to think a bit more before you put down a stroke because with pen you can't erase and it really makes you conscious and have every line be purposeful because you're stuck with the line you drew and that was just a little mind bending that is one thing that really shifted how i draw today now another thing that you can probably tell as the portraits progress is that i'm also taking further notice over just the direction of the lines and having the lines that I draw more neat and taking keeping in mind just where what direction the lines are being drawn in because it can really suggest your form if your lines are slanted it kind of suggests you know a 3d slanted form and especially with the face which has a lot of planes this I found really really enhanced my art and kind of adds this extra touch that makes your face more three-dimensional. Now, as you just saw when I was drawing that old man, in the sketchbook itself, it's very it's very free because, you know, you, you literally just saw like a half-finished face uh, above it. And, you know, this is very relaxed. It just shows that, you know, you're having fun. When you make a challenge for yourself, it's important to keep in mind that, you're there to see improvement. You're there to follow your journey and follow 
follow what you desire because if it's not fun and it's not enjoyable then why are you trying <laughs> you know you know practice makes improvement and at this point in the challenge i started to create better portraits in a smaller time frame of under 30 minutes and it was consistent it was consistent i really was like hey what if i think maybe it's time to draw draw people in real life right it's a bit easier said than done because i'm like an introvert so okay i found my i found my um my target <laughs> okay i'm like shy i usually don't do this i can't believe that she said yes i actually expected a brutal rejection from the first time how are you gonna get someone to sit for 20 minutes straight and to for you to draw them is that that just doesn't seem realistic right like i wouldn't do that personally and how can you expect others to do that too so after much thought and contemplation, it has been decided that taking a photo of that person is just so much easier. The person can just enjoy life, right? They don't have to sit so still. And they can also watch your process as you draw them. Since this is all going to go onto, a, onto YouTube, right? I think it's important that you ask your subject if they would like them their face to be on YouTube. I made that clear to her that it was going to be a part of a YouTube video and if she would mind her or not. And she said, you know, I wouldn't mind if you put the drawing on YouTube, but my photo, please no. So that is why I can't show you the reference photo. Anyone interested in a freshly baked cat? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I made enemies. At this barber shop, I drew a girl who was waiting for her boyfriend to finish his haircut. Now, walking up to people and asking to draw their portrait isn't easy, and this girl was my third person that I walked up to. The other two was a couple that was sitting at a restaurant and I check it out at the last moment I'm like no I'm not gonna just no I'm just not something I found that really really helped me to walk up to people was to come up with a really really good reason why I, I really want to draw them why that justifies the whole uncomfortableness of walking up to a person and you know asking them for my personal situation, I told myself it'll gl grow your skills very well, you know, you're practicing on real people and giving a portrait away, it's giving back through art. And I think the third reason was um, it's for a video, <laughs> yeah, it's for you guys to see, you know, and when you come up with a really nice reason why, then, you know, Walking up to the person and asking just seems so insignificant. Doing the act seems less daunting because uh, there's so many reasons why you should, right? I drew this lady in the waiting room of an office. Now, when you draw people in real life, like real people, it's a bit different. It feels a bit different uh, based on pressure because of just harsher judgment because I'm drawing a realistic portrait of this person, and if it doesn't look like them, it's pretty obvious, and it's not just me who disapproves, it's already external opinion. I was at the outdoor market, the guy behind the stand just kind of gives, gives me a thumbs up randomly, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna draw him, you know? Now, something I found over the course of this challenge, which I found personally really helped me with accuracy was to focus on the unique features of a person's face and really try your hardest to capture them because everyone has something unique about their face and that's usually the I, I can't say trademark but it's what you remember most and nailing those features really make a person recognizable as you know this is their face right I didn't really like the photo I took of the guy. He was very outgoing and I didn't really capture it in the photo. Thank you. And I realized just how important photos are because if you don't like the way the photo looks, most likely you won't like the portrait. Like you can't fix it. I drew this next girl in the airport. It took me a couple minutes <laughs> to gather up my courage to walk up to her. I took several photos of her and I approached it more seriously after the lesson I learned from the previous drawing that I did, and I let her choose which photo she wanted. The saddest part though is that before I could finish the portrait, she had to run and catch her flight, so I really hope she sees this video and sees her portrait at least online. <laughs> 
By this portrait, my strokes were more free and expressive, and the process was just faster. I hope that seeing this journey of how I learned to draw portraits with pen will inspire you to explore and try something you wanted to do but never thought you were capable of. Who knows, you might end up surprising yourself, just like I did.